Hello there everyone and welcome to episode 11 of Ask a Girl Who Can't Define Herself. Now I want to put a warning at the beginning of this video, I don't have makeup on right now, so you might want to make the little kids exit the room because this can be scary. DBZ Cosplayer asks, Here is a question from me. You seem to know lots about hair and makeup and stuff. Will you do a tutorial on eye makeup and other bits of the face too for that matter and include recommended brands and how to apply it and such? Thanks! I have a friend, my very best friend from college. Her name is Aaliyah. Here's a picture of her. She's very beautiful. She makes me hate her because she's very, very hot. And when we stand next to each other, I love her to death, like I want to hug and kiss her to oblivion, but I also want to push her down a flight of stairs because she's incredibly beautiful and I hate her. You're a fat cow, Aaliyah. You suck. So anyways, Aaliyah and I went to college together and almost every single day I would say to her, Aaliyah, take me to the bathroom, do my makeup. So every day we'd go into the bathroom before class and I'd sit on the counter and she'd do my makeup and it was really, really cute. Boy, this is going to be kind of a combination between my way of putting on makeup and Aaliyah's. Okay, let's go to the tutorial! And here's how we put up makeup, Aaliyah and Tribal Butterfly Stack. Now for those of you out there who like to use cover-up sticks and foundations, this is the first thing you want to do. You want to start by using a cover-up stick to cover up any of your blemishes, and then you want to go over it with a foundation that will cover your whole face and even out the tone of your entire face. And you want to make sure that everything gets covered nice and smooth, okay? Aaliyah's tip number one. If you're doing eyeshadow, start with the lightest color at the very bottom. I'm going to show you guys step by step what tones I like to use and you can substitute what you prefer. I like to stay within the white, so I actually use white. It's a very, very fine white though, so it's just going to give me a white highlight and a white shine. So what you'll do is you'll just take some of your white, okay, and you'll just apply it right over. I do it with a big brush because it takes me a lot quicker, but you just want to apply it right over your entire lid. This white is going to make your eyes look more awake, it's going to look more bright, and it's going to take away any of those dark spots. I suffer from dark circles under my eyes, so once in a while I'll actually even apply some at the bottom. Nobody else I know does this, I do, because I have dark circles and I hate them and sometimes a little, little bit of white shimmer helps me. So that's my tip. Sorry, Alia. Follow with the darker shade on the top. Start from the corner and work your way in and blend, blend, blend. I'm going to show you how to use your eyeshadow. Smashbox is a really, really good brand. So um, that's what I'm going to be using today. Plus I really like that goldy color and it's going to really tie into what we're going to be doing later on. I'm just going to stick around these two because these are the tones that I'm really going for. Blow on your brush so that you don't have an access and then make a mess. Once you have that little bit of access gone, you can apply to your lid without worrying about having this big smush of color. You want to start at the edge of the eye and work your way in. Just bring it into this part of my eye and always, always blending. See that little flap of fold of skin there? You want to really just stay in that area. So push it in, push it in, push it in your color. The next step that you want to go to is your liner. Now there's always the question of should I use a liquid liner or should I use a pencil? Personally speaking, I use a combination of both. The pencil I'm going to be using today is Black Ebony from Lancome. Now if you're nervous about doing eyeliner, you may not want to use the liquid right away. This can be really, really tricky and really, really messy if you have an unsteady hand. For people with shaky hands who can't do eyeliner, it's best to start from the middle of your eyelid and then work either way. That way it's a shorter stroke each way and there are less chances of shakes. I'm going to start with my pencil. You want to make sure that your pencil is sharpened to a, a fine enough point that you can actually use it and not have a huge smudgy line. Start 
at the center and I will pull my lid taut so that I can get a nice straight line on my lid. And you'll start at the beginning and you just work to the tip. And then we go back into the eye. What you want to do is you want to be a little bit finer at the edges because you don't want this big clumping line ending in, at your eye. Now, this is a good tip. My mother does this all the time and it's horrible. This part of your eye, right here, you do not want to be coloring that. That is bad for your eye. You want to go underneath your lashes. I know it's not closer to the eye, but trust me, healthy, healthy eyes are much more important. It will not make that much of more of a difference. You want to go under your lashes. And you want to try to keep this bottom line as faint as you can because otherwise you're going to have like big black blobs under your eyes and that's not pretty. Okay, so there's your bottom lines done. Now this is a tip that Aaliyah didn't tell you that I do all the time and it works for me. I know this is not the right way to do it, but it works for me, so what's the problem? If you can take a brush and you can just smudge those lines that you just did with your eyeliner, you're going to get a really sexy, smoky look. Liz, this is what I was telling you to do, okay, that night. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you right now. Just take your brush, pull your lip, uh, lid taut again, and then just go over it. This is going to smudge out your line. Now, if your line is not perfectly smooth and straight, it won't matter at this point because it's getting all smudgy. See that? You are going to get a really nice smoked look to your eye. Just makes it a little bit sexier and you don't have this big, bold, ugly looking line right across your whole eye. It's a nice, subtle, smooth, sexy look. You might not want to do it to your bottom one or at least not to the same extent that you did your top because you don't want to have this big shadow of black under your eye. So just be careful of that. Now, if doing that to your liner made you worry that, okay, now I've got this nice big shadow, but I've lost that beautiful fine point, you can always sharpen your pencil and go back and do that line again, or you can do what I do. This is where the liquid liner comes in, and you just go over very, very tiny that line. Okay, so we'll just go over the line again, exactly the same way we did it before, only now we're doing it with the liquid liner. It's sort of my signature piece, is I always do that little swoosh at the edge of my eye. I never leave home without my swooshes. 